In a summary report released Sunday by Attorney General William Barr, special counsel Robert Mueller found no evidence President Trump's campaign conspired with Russia to influence the 2016 election. But Mueller reached no conclusion on whether the president tried to obstruct the investigation. White House aides blanketed morning television, claiming total exoneration. He uh, issued 2,800 subpoenas, 500 search warrants, 50 phone pens, uh, and interviewed 500 witnesses in 13 countries. So I think that that's a, a pretty good uh, vindication of what the president said since the beginning, that there was no collusion. I think Democrats and the liberal media owe the president and they owe the American people an apology. They wasted two years and created a massive disruption. The president tweeting, this is a good day for America, an upbeat returning to the White House last night. America is the greatest place on earth. Mueller's report did not exonerate the president on possible obstruction, but Barr and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein concluded the conduct did not reach the threshold of a crime. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer aren't taking Barr at his word, writing, Barr is not a neutral observer and is not in a position to make objective determinations about the report. The Attorney General's comments make it clear that Congress must step in to get the truth and provide full transparency to the American people. Democrats are moving forward on several investigations that include possible obstruction by the president. There are also several other ongoing state and federal investigations involving the president, the Trump Inauguration Committee, and the Trump Organization. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News, Washington.